What's up guys? Soapbox Monday. What a fun day. It's actually been a long, long, long weekend. So we went to Orlando. I told you guys, I mean, you saw that on Facebook that we went to Orlando. Went out there for the anti-aging conference, which was fun. It was really, really good. So it's a fun fun weekend. We went to Orlando, did the anti-aging conference. After that, we rushed back here, got to Peter's football game. Then we took Peter to go see a movie. I won't say which movie because I don't want to get in trouble for being such a horrible parent. But anyways, Neil, you have to see what I just made. So granted, it is 1030 at night and it's a Monday. So I get big props for this, okay? But look what I just made. Good old amaretto chicken. Some potatoes. That's I'm so proud of myself. I'm so, so proud of myself. So my dad had this badass recipe, right? And he would put this grilled chicken together and then he would put this in it. Amaretto chicken is what he would call it. I'm sure my brother can uh, attest to how good the amaretto chicken was. So anyways, I came home and I got, for a Monday, I got home at a decent hour, which was like nine o'clock. <laughs> That's like a decent hour for me anyways. And I made a decision to, instead of like go relax in bed for a minute and check emails and do that stuff, I decided, you know what? Well, let me just cook dinner, okay? Now I don't normally cook, nor do I like to cook. And when I met my husband, John, I told him that. And, um, you know, he just had to accept me. So, you know, when you're married and you, uh, I know, right? I'll have to make you some soon, Neil. Um, so, what's up, Rob? What's up, Brian? Hi, peoples. So anyways, I decided to come home and make some dinner for them because it actually like, now that I'm a little bit older, it must be because I'm older, it like soothes me to like make food for my family, you know, and then have them like have a good dinner, you know, and I'm so busy all the time that, you know, cooking is very unrealistic for me, okay, because I'm so busy. I I don't know why like people, I, I don't know what people think I do all day, but it's it's called busy, 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 busy. Too busy to cook, too busy to wash my hair, hence this bun. I haven't washed my hair in like four days. So, you know, you just, you gotta do what you gotta do though, right? You just gotta do it. So it is what it is. What's up, Mr. Hatfield? Um, there will be no leftovers. You do know you're talking to like, you know, I make a minimal amount, okay? I don't have time for that. I almost hopped on here earlier, but the when you make this chicken and this potato shit, it's very time sensitive. And if you like, don't watch it for like two seconds, you will fuck it up. So the last thing you want to do is mess up the chicken that I attempted to make and then make my child's, you know, bedtime a little bit later than it should be. Now, granted, Peter's bedtime is at 10 o'clock. So I'm sure John will kick my ass when I wake him up because he's upstairs taking a baby, baby nap. Tell Roman I said hi, I miss him so much. I can't wait for him to eat a piece of chicken. Um... So I'm going to go upstairs and tell him like, Hey, listen, I cook dinner. He's going to be like, yay. And I'll be like, Oh, by the way, Peter is up 35 minutes past his bedtime. But okay. With that being said, my son is nothing like me when I was growing up. Okay. When I was growing up, I was horrendous to get out of bed. Literally, my mom had to come in there. She'd try to be nice about it. She would try to like, you know, wiggle me a little bit, wiggle me a little bit, wake up, wake up. Then she'd flip on the lights. After she flipped on the lights and I still didn't get out of bed 30 minutes later, then she would go and turn on the fan. After I grabbed my covers, I put them in my head. We're talking like an hour later, right? Then my dad comes in. Oh boy, good old dad. <laughs> dad would rip the covers off and be like, get your ass out of bed right now. So luckily, I got lucky to have such a wonderful child. Even as a baby, he was a wonderful little baby. But he's awesome because he gets up in the morning. Like you can, he sets his own, the kid is nine. He'll be 10, okay? He sets his own alarm and he gets up out of bed 99% of the time by himself. Gets up, brushes his teeth, goes and takes a shower, gets ready for school, comes downstairs, eats his, like drinks his shake and everything. Like super, super, it's unbelievable like how responsible he is at nine years old. And it's probably because Neil take notes while you can. 
But, um, you know, when he was a baby, I didn't treat him like goo goo gaga. I treated him like a little adult. So I feel like he's probably a few years ahead of himself, right? But, um, you know, he likes when I cook. So I was like, you know what? Instead of like laying in bed and trying to catch up on emails and maybe watch 90 Day Fiance since I didn't get to see it all last night, um, <laughs> I figured I would go ahead and make dinner because everybody's gonna enjoy dinner, right? And I don't get to make dinner often. This weekend has been absolutely amazing. I became an auntie because my little baby brother had a baby. His name is Roman and I'm like super excited to be an aunt. So I'm, it was a really big weekend for that. Just that by itself was a huge part of my weekend. Um, but just go, being on the go all the time, it's insane how I get these things done. Sometimes I'm just like, I don't understand how I get half the shit done that I get done. And yeah, I stay up late and I wake up early, but like, John's amazing. John gets up in the morning, he helps Peter get ready for school, packs his lunch. I, on the other hand, I call the girls at the office when I get up, I call them on FaceTime, I go around the whole entire office and talk to every single girl. You can actually verify this. I'm sure some of the girls that are on here are probably like, yeah, that's what she does. But I get on there and you know, I'm like, hey, listen, you guys know what you're doing for the day? This, this, and that. Did you guys do this text message? Did you guys do these emails? Did you see this paperwork? Did you do that? Did you do this? Did you do that? Go through the whole entire kit and caboodle. So, you know, me and John work together really, really well as a team, okay? But this weekend was awesome. I really don't have like that many complaints. The only complaint I would have for the whole weekend would probably be maybe the drive to and from Orlando, you know? Wow, people cannot drive worth shit. Um, and you know, that's probably the only time that me and John actually argue is when he's driving because if he grabs his phone for two seconds to look at something, I'm like, oh my God, we're going to die. Now, granted, this is coming from somebody that's been in two car accidents, okay, with very, very bad injuries on these car accidents because there were these two assholes that were on their phones while they were driving. So I am super duper duper against people being on their phones and texting and driving. It's so stupid. I just don't understand why you can't wait like two seconds for like a light, maybe even, you know, maybe a stop sign and then respond. I promise it's uh, unless somebody's dying, it, it can totally wait. So just remember that because it's super, super important. But regardless, I um, wanted to bring up one thing while I have you guys on here that's like super important because I didn't know that this month was like a mental health awareness month which is pretty, you know, I didn't know they even had a month like that. I know there's like breast cancer awareness, but I didn't know that there was like a mental health awareness month. Um, but I take that pretty seriously. Um, as far as, you know, people that are going through depression or somebody that's, you know, sad, mad, whatever it might be, you know, as I get a little bit older, I start understanding things a little bit more. Um, but you know, I want to just put out there for you guys. Keep in mind that not everybody is always having like a perfect life. And even if they portray having a perfect life, they may not be having a perfect life. Sometimes people even reach out to you for help and you don't realize they're reaching out to you for help until you realize that they need help. So it's really important that, you know, you support your family and friends and, you know, you recognize when people have something going on, you know, just acknowledge it. You'd be surprised how many people have things going on that you just don't know about and they just cover it up really, really well. So anyways, the last few days have been insane and I am definitely gonna eat some dinner because I don't want my dinner getting cold, but I did let Peter stay up a little bit later than I should have. Right, Peter? Hi, you're gonna get up for school in the morning, right? By yourself? And no problems? That and get right out of bed. Like, run, jump, hurry, run. Jump, hurry, run. No, stand up for yourself. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I, I absolutely love you guys. I'm literally, I'm not going to lie. I made myself a nice little drink. It's called Patron and orange juice. I love the fact that I don't have to lie about what I do and who I am. So I'm not gonna be like, I'm this perfect person and I go to the gym every day and I do this and I do that and I go to church on Sundays and I don't drink and I don't eat fast food and I don't eat any french fries or pizza or anything and I'm just so perfect. I'm not gonna lie about it. 
I mean, I'm totally semi somewhat normal to some degree, <laughs> but I'm not going to lie about like how I live my life and what I'd like to do because unfortunately I just, I suck at being a liar and you know, making shit up that doesn't really exist. So, I mean, no, do I need to go to the gym? Yeah. Do I feel almost like forced to go to the gym? I kind of do. I mean, yeah, I know fruit loops. <laughs> lives on top of the fridge going stale because it goes stale on top of the fridge um <laughs> thank you for noticing my box of fruit loops up there or peter's box of fruit loops i should say so anyways i'm not gonna lie about what i do do i think i should go to the gym yeah is i do i feel like i'm under pressure all the time to like go to the gym and do something with myself regardless of how busy i am i actually do believe it or not I don't share that with everybody because I don't think everybody needs to know my internal feelings, but I do feel like that. I do. I, I, I don't know what it is though, guys. Like, I don't really like the gym. It's like not fun for me. I don't know. I like basketball. I like to play basketball. I like to run, right? But you're not going to see me running tr a track unless I'm like running and training Peter. But like, I don't enjoy working out. So I had to ask John the other day, right? I asked him, and if you guys have any advice, please feel free to write some advice on my lovely thread here because I will watch it, read it, whatever. But I mean, it's not fun. Like, you know, and so John said, well, once you go and you start getting results, like then it'll be fun because then you'll, you know, you start getting results and you'll see and you'll get past the part where you're like sore and this and that. And I just, I want to do it. You know, I want to go to the gym. Um, I want the results that the gym gives me but I don't want to go work out because it's not fun. And I don't know if it's not fun because like the only time I really, I, I've tried it all different kinds of ways. I've tried it first thing in the morning. It doesn't work because it's too much on my plate and I get stressed out and I have like OCD about how many emails I have and what's going on. I can't do middle of the day because there's too much shit going on in the middle of the day. And I can't actually, once I'm at that office, it's, it's done. Like, you know, game over. I'm not leaving. I'm stuck at the office. I'm not going anywhere. And then, you know, at night, I'm, I don't get home until 9 o'clock. So, I mean, what am I going to do at 9 o'clock? Take a shower? Sit down and watch some Netflix? No, not even. Go on my computer and work because I'm a workaholic. So, I don't know quite. I'm sure I'll find my sweet spot that will help me work out a little bit where I can, like, enjoy it. And I want the, like I said, I want the results that come with going to the gym and, like, I'm surrounded by people that work out, go to the gym, and they love it. They live it. They breathe it. I want to do that, but I mean, I don't know. I, d I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, there's other things that take precedence. Um, but I think I should start putting myself first because, you know, I do know that when you go to the gym and you work out, it kind of frees up your mental you know, your mental state and, you know, kind of, I, I know that stuff. This is stuff that we advise people on every freaking day of the week, you know, and I tell our patients, I'm telling them, you have to go work out. You're not just going to expect for this weight to just magically fall off of you or like, you know, just, I'm going to give you a magic pill and boom, now you're skinny. It doesn't happen like that. You know, I'm lucky. I have some good genetics, thank God. But, you know, I'd be lying to you if I told you I went to the gym every day. So my like one month resolution is going to be to at least try to go to the gym twice a week because I'm out by the pool. I live in Florida, you know, Florida, you know, half naked people everywhere. You don't have a choice. I'm not like in Chicago where you bundle up every day and cover up all kinds of places. It's hot here in Florida. Okay. You have to wear bathing suits when you go to the pool. If you wear a sweatsuit to the pool, people are going to ask you what the hell you're doing. Not to mention, people going to the pool, there's some brave ass women out there. I'll tell you that. I don't know how you got, how you got so brave, but you guys are brave. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I just went to water on Sunday because we have an event there every Sunday. And I'll tell you, what's up, Angel? Um, I'll tell you when I went to water on Sunday, it's like every Sunday that I go there, I'm like, holy shit. Like the, like the generation, I told you guys about this before the generation, like what they wear, it's ridiculous because it's not just a bathing suit. They're like half naked and wearing thongs and like, it doesn't matter what they look like or what's going on in like their physical conditions, but they'll wear whatever. It doesn't matter. 
and they're all wearing thongs. Like even in my best day of looking, the best shape I've ever been in, you will not catch me in a thong by the pool or the beach or anywhere for that matter. But that's just me. I'm old school, I guess. So let's see. I am going to try to shape up a little bit so I can go show off my two pack, you know, but I'm not going to be giving up my Patron. I know John's going to kill me for saying that, <laughs> but it's, you know, it is a balance. It's definitely a balance. A hundred percent. So anyways, I'm going to balance my ass on over to that table over there before John kicks my ass. I have to go upstairs and wake him up because he is taking a nap. Must be nice to take a nap at 1045 at night. So anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in. And I will definitely do another one this week. A soapbox is what I call it. It's when I hop on here and get to talk to all my favorite people. What's up, Jim? What's up, Kyle? Um, what's up, Ken? Tina, I love you. And Melissa, I love you. Sorry, I did not text you back today. Just for the record, I'm going to end this, this soapbox like this. Just for the record, okay? And I love all of you dearly. But if you text me or email me or call me on a Monday, the chances of me responding are slim to nil. Mondays are like literally upside down for me. So I have to pick and choose like what's like time sensitive and then get to that first. And that's with me working the whole damn weekend. How does that make any sense? I work the whole weekend and I still have Mondays that are super upside down, fucked up. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So anyways, if you love me, you'll just not text me on Mondays, okay? Or call me on Mondays or contact me at all. I'm just kidding, guys. Seriously, I'm just, you know, I'm like 50% kidding and 50% not kidding. <laughs> but seriously, if you need something, obviously hit me up. But Mondays suck and they're bad. Do not try to schedule anything with me on a Monday. Do not ask me to go to dinner on a Monday. Do not ask me to meet on a Monday, to go over anything on a Monday, because Mondays are not going to work. Got it? I'm glad we could all get along and be on the same page. <laughs> I don't respond to you, and I see you at the office. <laughs> So anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in and I am going to go wake up my husband and, um, forgive him or like, let him forgive me. I'm sorry. Let me swap that around, uh, for keeping our son up so late, but Peter Pinky promised me that he would get up in the morning and not have any issues and get right in the shower, like right away. Okay. And I can't promise you, I told you that he's very, very responsible. And so he gets things done. Now, how could he brushes his teeth? I don't know. How good he washes his hair. Oh no. But the same thing that I do to all my girls in my office, it's called a QC, okay? Quality control. I do the same thing to Peter. Mm -hmm. I do. I actually go in there and I like, when he gets out of the shower, I'll like touch the back of his hair and be like, did you wash all your hair? He'd be like, he'll wait for a second because he knows that I already am asking him a question that I already know the answer to. Or I'll ask him like, did you brush your teeth all the way? and you know, might see something in his teeth right here or something, you know? So he already knows like what the deal is beforehand, before I even ask him anything. So <laughs> poor kid, I feel bad for him. I'm sure all the people that like work for me, Loretta's on here right now. I mean, people that I've taught in school when I used to teach the medical assisting program, which I absolutely loved by the way, but anybody that's worked with me or has lived with me, you guys all know. I am absolutely insane and I have serious, serious problem with OCD. So yeah, you'll just accept me for who I am. Yep. You just have to, you don't have a choice. Anyways, I gotta go and I'm going to finish my lovely drink and go eat my food and my husband's going to be happy that I made him chicken. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.